What's up? So we are heading to the Jubilee Carnival. We'll see what that's all about. Yeah, it's called a vlog. There's my bratty little sister. Looks like it's gonna be a very hot day. So what happens when you come to these events early is that uh, you get put to work. Oh, yeah. I don't even go here. <laughs> he doesn't even go here. She doesn't even go here. Do you even go to this school? Really? Yep. So this is my dad. I've been put in charge of this booth, uh, and uh, I do I do charge commission. So Nate's podcast. We thank you. This is the vlog. This, this is the vlog. Oh look, there's Nate. So this is Austin right here. This is this is the goat, no. the leader of uh, the Mogs is what he is. I'm just a servant. He's the leader. He's the ring leader. This is my cousin Nay right here. What's up? I got you. This is Moses. That's Moses, everybody. That's Moses. All right, so for the coffee followers on the vlog, there is a new coffee bar called The Drip. So it's The Drip Coffee Bar on Instagram. It is ran by RJ Tapia and his wife. Uh, I think it's like their family thing. So I've been hearing really, really, really good things about this coffee. We're gonna get a drink or two and we'll kind of rate it scale from one to 10 and see how well their coffee's made. As of right now, what's really grabbing my attention is either the honeycomb or what Courtney said is the black and white. <laughs> so have you had the drip coffee before? I have. She has, she has. Anyone, what are your first impressions? I love it. Did you get? I got the pink blossom. Pink blossom, okay. Presentation is very cute. Okay. I like it. My uh, umbrella flew away and they even gave me another one. So they're really Umbrella flew on. away. Uh -huh. Okay, and they gave her a brand new Okay, so. They want to make sure it looks cute. I think it's really good. Bro, I didn't get it. We got the same. I also give it a 10 out of 10. But his has Red Bull in it. With Red Bull. 10 out of 10. That's, oh, ooh. I don't know, man. That's, okay. Eight. eight. Okay, Julian. Julian is, is an eight. Honest, you gotta honest, need. You gotta come see the drip ASAP. See the drip. It's dripping. Oh damn! Yeah, look at that line. Drip or so, drown. Ready to go. What did you get? It's dripping, but it's your choice to try it. What did you get? For me, when I start, All right, we're at the front of the line now. This is, this is RJ right there. Say what's up. Uh, let me do a well, whatever. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right, what is your, uh, between the honeycomb and the, is it the black and white? So what? the honeycomb is going to have the, uh, it's going to be with honey, real honey, and then it's going to have cinnamon in it, and the black and white is going to be white chocolate, and then chocolate. Let me do the honey, let me do a honeycomb. Honeycomb, it has the yeah. cereal on top, too. So. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're officially going with the honeycomb. Sure, you feel too right. <laughs> Sweet. Can I get a little ice water? Awesome. <laughs> Time to wait. So they are definitely hooking it up and I really appreciate that. So they just told me they're gonna give me an extra shot in the honeycomb drink so ooh, let's see uh let's see if, see how late this keeps me up if at all oh it's man that looks amazing thank you so much you're welcome
So, looks good, smells good. Honeycomb, it's got cinnamon on top. Now for the initial taste test. Okay, stir it up just a bit. A lot of that strong, a lot of, a lot of the coffee, the shots initially. Again, it wasn't stirred. Not too bitter. It's got subtle sweetness, some real honey in it. Taste the cinnamon. You can tell this is real, this is legit coffee beans being used. It's not some off-market or some cheap coffee beans. It has a very distinct taste to it, very smooth, even with the extra shot. It doesn't taste as strong or bitter. The honeycomb, the cinnamon, the actual drizzle of honey on top and inside blend perfectly well. This is a really, really good cup of coffee. And it was only $7. So price point wise, I say $7 is pretty good for this cup of coffee. I think having the honeycomb on top is just an added bonus. I used to be a huge fan of honeycomb way back in the day. Yeah, the drip, so. Compared to the other coffees, I, I would prefer this over Starbucks. For the overall rating of the honeycomb drink from the drip, I'm going to give this an 8.5. It is delicious, it's smooth even with the extra shot. The honeycombs on top are an added bonus along with the cinnamon and the honey drizzle inside. Very, very good. I highly recommend you get the honeycomb when you go to the drip. Don't forget to follow them on Instagram as well at, I believe it's The Drip Coffee. I'll uh, put their Instagram tag somewhere in here. But overall, this cup of coffee, the Honeycomb, 8.5 out of 10. Very, very good. Oh, sorry. sorry. So vlog number two for the day. We have an elote here. So you can see it, kinda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smells really good. They told me to put all this stuff on it. So we'll see how it tastes. I just don't wanna get heavy dirty. So like all elopers, very messy item to eat. Very, very messy. Way better than earnings corn from Hungry and Bored. That's not supposed to happen. Pretty good. 100% better than Ernie's elote that he tried making on Hungry and Board. Um, I don't eat elote that often or that much. Don't really have much to compare it to, but with everything on top of it, I'd probably rate this about a seven. It's pretty good. Definitely recommend it if you're out here. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely recommend it if you're out here uh, Jubilee's Carnival. 
I don't know if they're gonna have another one anytime soon during the, uh, the summer. They'll be having it on Friday, July. What is the date on Friday? The 14th. So hopefully this video will be up before the 14th. But they will have more Elote here at their family fun night on July 14th. So definitely come out, try it out. It's pretty good. Make sure you put all the toppings, all the, uh, I don't even know what they gave me to put on it, but everything that they have there. Listen to them, they know what they're doing. So yeah, make sure to come and try it out on the 14th. So a group of us are now about to go get our faces painted. So we got Frankie, we got George, John, we, we got, there you go. And then, I did say Frankie. I said, yeah, I got Frankie. Is there, is there a line for face painting? Yeah. Are they they're in line? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can be up next, right? <laughs> I heard there was a Charizard. Is that true? Somebody told me there, there was a little kid who said, I got a Charizard on my face. Ooh, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. So. Spider-Man, that's so sick. Let me see, what? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Are you vlogging, Nate? I am. Uh, Let me get a. Hey! Alright, so I'm getting a Pokeball on my cheek, I think, right? Cheek? Yeah. So we got a Pokeball. The uh, the artist does not want to be on camera, so I will not show the artist, but it's looking pretty good. Thank you, Mandy. So it looks like that's pretty much a wrap for the uh, Jubilee Carnival. Everyone's starting to pack up. Great experience, really fun. They're gonna be having their family fun nights on the 14th of July, which is actually this Friday, if I get this video out fast enough. So, 821 Lassen Avenue, Modesto, California, is the place you want to come if you want to just have a great time with your friends, your family. Yeah, it's going to be a little hot, so stay plenty hydrated, but it's going to be fun. So, come on out. <laughs> 